We have some news just coming in. The U.S.-China diplomatic war has escalated is what we are picking up. This comes at a time when China has already announced sanctions on Nancy Pelosi over the Taiwan trip. China has cancelled defence meetings with America is what we are learning. The climate talks have also been cancelled. The U.S.-China climate talks have also been cancelled. So China is now choosing not to talk to the U.S. on important issues like climate talks, climate conversations. The defence meetings with the U.S. has also been cancelled is what they're picking up. So China is now trying to register a protest when it comes to diplomatic issues with the U.S. The defence talks have been cancelled. The climate talks have been cancelled. This also comes some hours after China just announced sanctions on Nancy Pelosi over her Taiwan trip. Now the China is trying to register a protest, trying to cancel all the diplomatic conversations as far as defence is concerned, as far as climate change talks are concerned. U.S.-China diplomatic war has escalated with China cancelling defence meetings with U.S. and U.S.-China climate talks also being cancelled. Geeta Mohan, a foreign affairs editor, is getting asked more details on that story. Geeta, China here trying to register a protest and how? Also trying to cancel all talks with the U.S. when it comes to important issues like climate talks, for example. Well, that's right, Neha. Important and major developments coming in from uh, China, from Beijing. We know that the decisions were going to be on economic and military front when it comes to Taiwan. But China also certainly was going to hit out at the United States of America. We'll have to wait and see what the reactions from Washington, D.C. is going to be with regards to the cancellation of uh, meetings. But remember, Neha, at this juncture where uh, business trade and climate meetings are very important, uh, China coming ahead and uh, going ahead and cancelling these meets are going to have an impact on how the global community has to uh, will be or will be able to come together to discuss very important matters so yes uh, there are going to be huge hurdles obstacles ahead when it comes to two p5 nations at it and two P5 nations who are nuclear powers wherein one side has already raised the nuclear alarm saying that should the United States of America enter this territory, they will have to face the consequences and that not to forget China is nuclear. So a lot of warning threats coming in from China but the biggest news that's coming in right now is the steps that are being taken not against Taiwan particularly which has already begun but against the United States of America whether it is Nancy Pelosi her delegation and her family members being sanctioned and the fact that they will neither be allowed to enter China or uh, do business with China uh, the fact that they are also looking at now G2G sanctioning, which means a government to government, despite the U.S. administration saying that this was an unofficial visit and not the U.S. administration's decision or, uh, or, or representation, the Chinese administration now taking steps against U.S. government. But this is okay. only the beginning, Sneha. We'll have to wait and see if there are going to be some specific economic sanctions against the United States of America. All right, Gita, thanks for getting us those details of China now taking a position against the U.S., trying to cancel diplomatic talks. Also, the important climate change talks is what China has cancelled and the defense talks as well.